it's a good evening, uh, Uni, and uh, thank you for uh, you know introducing us to the palace uh, in uh, West Sumatra. Sure. You know, in Minangkabau style. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, the style is very striking, especially with the you know the the horn. Yeah. So, Absolutely. can you please uh, explain to me a bit, like uh, the, you know, the history? You know, of why is it built building. here? Just yes. yeah. right. So, this building, this, the name of this building is Pagaruyung Palace. Mm -hmm. It's built on uh, 1347, the original one, but not in this location. Like, the original location was on the top of the hills, uh, mm. the back of this building, uh, and uh, but. That building has gone in 1804, just because of the war. And then after that, it moved here in 1976, but absolutely also getting burned, stopped by the lightning in 2007. 100% of the building has gone, and also only 15% of the artifact that can be saved. So this one, the, this palace, is, is the second replica of Pagaruyung Palace. So this Pagaruyung Palace, at the time, uh, used as a family's house and also as a of the government of Pagaruyung Kingdom. Pagaruyung Kingdom is one of the biggest kingdom in Minangkabau in West yes, Sumatra today. And also the designs of this palace was made like uh, Rumah Gadang. Mm. Rumah Gadang is the traditional house of uh, Minangkabau tribe oh, of I West see. Sumatra. So the designs is uh, used like a buffalo horn on the top and the roof and also the inside of the palace has uh, several part that has their own meaning that depends on uh, uh, on the cultures of Minangkabau people. So, so, so basically, uh, the palace copy the style from the houses, not yeah. not the houses copy the style yeah, from the palace. Yeah, that's right. No, because okay. the palace is uh, exists. Uh, no, the houses is exists before, before the, the palace. palace so I see. the the palace try to copy the designs of Rumah Gadang mm. in West Sumatra and Minangkabau. And can you tell me a bit like, you know, what are the three floors are for basically? Okay, like I said to you before, because this is for the palace, so it has three floor because the or the the um, the houses of Minangkabau is only one floor. Mm. But for the palace it has three floor. The first floor is it's uh, provide a room for a bathroom uh, that's belong for the member of the family who is getting married. I see. I uh, see. There are nine room that's belong for the uh, the kings, the daughter, or the married princess, and also for Budo Kanduang. Mm. And also in the central of the house, uh, that's uh, there are uh, there is uh, like a throne that's mm. belong for the mother of the king. And also the second floor that's belong for the princess, unmarried princess. Actually, there are five rooms in the uh, in uh, the second floor, but we just made one to make more spaces for the visitor. That's the uh, in the second floor where the princess learned everything from Lokando mm. because uh, the princess is not allowed to go down or go up from the house without permission of so Lokando. Oh, so and, and the last one, the third. The third floor, that's uh, belong like a storage room. The name of the rooms is Mahligai. Mahligai is based on uh, India's language, Indian language. So uh, that's where the king kept the properties like the crown, the sword, and also the gold inside of the box. So this house is actually a recent replica, which yeah. was uh, finished in 2012. Yeah. And at the same time, uh, you know, the, the striking feature of the architecture is the, you know, the, the, the roof. So the roof. It, it symbolizes, as I was informed, uh, f uh, through the horn of a buffalo. Yeah, so can you tell me like a, you know, briefly like the story okay. behind that? Yeah. The horn of the buffalo is based on like the legend in Minangkabau. Mm. The legend about uh, Minangkabau people defending their land mm -hmm. from the people who come to Minangkabau to attack the land to take the land. So at the time, uh, Minangkabau people prepare a buffalo. Mm -hmm. They they uh, avoid the war, and then they make like it's just like a match match of or uh, a buffalo match, and then uh, our people from Minangkabau prepare a small buffalo. And then the people who came to Minangkabau prepare a strongest and the big ones buffalo. Oh. But at the time, the smallest buffalo is uh, the baby uh, buffalo who still need milk, milk from, the, from the, the mother. mother. So at the time, we prepare such as like a knife mm -hmm. that's put on the head of the buffalo baby, the baby buffalo. And when the match day, 
when the the, the buffalo release the uh, the baby buffalo looking for the milk from the strongest buffalo mm -hmm. uh, from the stranger so that's why our people is gotta win and uh, pretending our land at the time so we believe that the buffalo's horns are symbolized of the strongest of the Minangkabau people so in the buffalo the horns it's put on the head mm -hmm. so that's why we put on the head of our house that's on the roof so basically the monarchy you know came to an end mm -hmm. during the uh, Dutch colonial mm -hmm. time uh, sorry. Uh, you mean like the kings? You know they they. You know. Uh, the king in in colonial times, there yeah. is no king at that oh. time because uh, the kings uh, only exist on the palace on 18th centuries. Mm. Uh, when the Dutch come to Indonesia, our people is busy to pretend uh, to uh, stand our uh, independence uh, of our nation. So at the times we are not. Uh, Maybe they don't care about the kingdom, but oh. only the people that's uh, standing uh, to pretend our land from the Dutch. Yes, ma'am. And the last question. So, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, what nationality of, uh, you know, let's say visitors do you, do you normally get? Like Westerners, Asian, Asian? Sorry? The the nationality of the visitors. Visitors. Yeah, yeah. The visitors from the overseas that came here, uh, the top one is Malaysia. 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 Malaysia Mostly yeah. every day Malaysia come to uh, uh, Pagarayong Palace. That's maybe because Malaysia in Minangkabau, especially in Negeri Sembilan, Seri Menanti, mm. Malaysia, has like a family connection, have family families connection. Uh, with uh, Pagarayong Kingdom. So that's why Pagarayong Kingdom uh, being one of the destination that should be visited by them so that's why Malaysian people mostly every day came here and then the second and the third followed by uh, French and French also and Dutch. Holland, oh, Dutch Dutch. And Holland. Okay, so uh, thank you, uh, un, un, Uni, 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 for Reni. your great, <laughs> great interview on yeah. the Minangkabau Palace. Thank you yeah. so much.